To walk into Homeboy is to be radically accepted. It is a place of the deepest kind of inclusion, and that gives people purpose. Hey Benji, tell us who we are. Educational class schedule, youth re-entry center, tattoo removal, cafe, what do you got for us? Bakery, merch, tours, visitors, and such. Jesus, please lead us in prayer. You guys could please uh, bow your head. All right. I want to pray for Homeboy Industries. I want to pray for everybody out there. When I first came to Homeboy, I didn't, I didn't really know what to expect. When I walked in, it was so much love given to me to where it was like, oh, I can relax. Oh. After all that time in prison, you know, it, it's there's a lot of anxiety. As soon as I walked through those doors and Father Greg hugged me, it was just, I just felt like I was home. When we're out in the streets, people try not to look at us. Once you come into Homeboy, they don't judge you. Like, they literally do see you. You know, you don't get to pick where you grow up. You don't get to pick your family. You don't get to pick the stuff that you're, you're born into. I learned how to be a father. I learned how to be a son. I learned how to be a man. I, like, everything. I learned I, almost everything at Homeboy. Before Homeboy Industries, my life was a mess. I didn't have a relationship with my mom. And um, when I was in prison, she wrote me a letter. She begged me that to just to get my life back together. Father Jesus never made me feel anything other than kinship. That's what works about homeboys. I mean, it's the kinship. And being together and being present and pushing each other, supporting each other. We take people that are involved in gangs and criminal activity that want to change, and we bring them in, we give these people, we give them a job. I don't know how I would have changed it if I would have never went to homeboy. They just there to help and change lives. So that that's, that's important, because it, it changed my life. I don't think I would still be here today if it wasn't for, for God, first of all, but then Homeboy Industries, too. Father Greg, like, what do you want me to do? And, you know, he responded by, I just want you to be here. And once I decided to be present, then everything else started to happen. Don't be afraid to dream, because if you really want it, and you're willing to put in the work, Homeboy is going to help you get it. And it's amazing what a person can do when they have the right encouragement. That's why it's more important for me to give back and help those that are coming through those stores just like I did. I didn't know I can get love like this from people that don't even know me. They never give up on you, but most importantly, they never let you give up on yourself. Homeboys is somewhere that you can come in through the doors and say you don't have your life figured out or you just need a fresh start. Everything that you need to be able to restart your life, you'll find it at Homeboys. There's not a door that you can knock on there where you can't get some kind of help, whatever it is. My dream for Homeboy is to further grow that feeling of connectedness that you can walk out of Homeboy and the whole city can feel like we all are connected and belong to each other. I want to uh, pray for Father Gray wherever he's at and I just want you to protect us over the weekend and yeah, that's it. Amen. Yeah.